We now know and now have a better idea of how the state plans to fund schools. The Tennessee Investment and Student Achievement Act will give billions of dollars to K through 12th grade students. News 4's Tosin Fakile breaks it all down tonight and explains how different this funding plan is compared to the past. How the dollar is calculated per student and district is easier to understand with the new proposal. Now look at this. This is an entire breakdown of an entire formula for a sample district. As you can see, it's about a page long. Over here, you see a line by line dollar amount per student. Now the BEP formula, which is a current formula, about, had about 46 components and took several pages to explain how everything is calculated. The BEP doesn't deserve a billion dollars to be put in it, but our students do deserve a billion dollar increase in public education funding. And the proposed Tennessee Investment in Student Achievement Act will replace the decades old funding formula. The proposal will invest $9 billion in education funding starting in 2023-24 school year. Individual needs will have individual funding decisions around it. And that's what makes this funding plan different. State leaders say it's student based. Different students have different needs, and so the funding should match the individual needs of each student. Here's an example of how it breaks down for each student. Each student starts with base funding of $6,860. Depending on what a student's needs are, like living in a concentrated poverty area or unique learning need like dyslexia or English learning proficiency, more money will be allocated for the student. Students with unique learning needs, again, those are students with disabilities, gifted students, students with characteristics of dyslexia and English learners. They have a range of what those weights can be from 15% all the way up to 150%. So who pays for what? The formula is made up of base, weights, directs, and outcomes funding. Base and weights will be split 70 to 30 between state and local. The state will cover direct and outcome funding. One of the ways that you can build a formula is controlling for state costs or you control for local costs. Governor wanted to make sure that we did not see an increase in taxes for our local communities, so we started with controlling for local costs. Under this new proposal, districts will get more money than under the current formula, assuming enrollment is stable. Today, every district was sent the funding formula overview for their district. The proposed funding plan is expected in committee in the next few weeks, but it still has a long way to go. As you can see, it still has to go to at least seven committees and then be approved by the House and Senate before going to the governor's desk and then becoming law. I'm Tosin Fikile, 4 News 4 Nashville.